What is the crack lads and welcome to our top 10 players under 25,000 GP. A lot of people still asking me for this. I have done videos in the past for eFootball 2022. So make sure and check those out as well. But we are going to be updating these to bring it more in line with eFootball 2023. And obviously these are my picks for some absolute beasts that won't cost you barely anything lads you're talking pennies in terms of gp like you're talking about playing a couple of events here and there to be able to stack your team with a lot of these players now i do have a couple of rules with these videos i always do so all of these players are going to be good squad players if you are a newcomer and you are starting off you definitely can use a couple of these but you are going to have to upgrade your squad as you rise up in the division so make sure and check out further videos i'm going to be doing 50,000 top 10 players under 50,000 under 100,000 under 200,000 and under 400,000 and then obviously the superstars so yeah there's a couple of guys in here that we are going to be seeing we're also going to be taking a look over on the website of eFootballDB.com as well. So we are going to start off with this guy, Basogog, who is a Cameroonian player. He is not with any club in the game, as you can see there, uh, but he's 26 years of age. This guy has got incredible potential, lads, of where you can actually train him because he's got a lot of levels, as you can see here. He's got 40 levels to go up, which gives you roughly, I think it's around 78 trainer points. But a lot of the reason why I've picked these players in this list, right, is all of these players that you're going to see. I've no doubt that you guys will have personal favorites. I've probably missed out on a couple as well that, you know, maybe play well for you. Or a couple of hidden gems because I do think that eFootball does get across some really nice players that you can have balanced that you know might play well for you that doesn't that don't play well for me and vice versa. A lot of these guys have really good AI playing styles, such as this guy. He's a winger, but he's got speeding bullet, incisive run, and he's also a long range uh, expert, long ball expert, and long ranger. And his player skills. So all these players have a mixture of player skills that suit their position. They've got a good baseline stats that, you know, is just their base card. And they also have unwavering form. Because you do not want to be buying a player, especially early doors, that are going to be down more often than not, right? You want players that are going to be in top form and give yourself the best ability or the best chance to have them at max ability. So that is just kind of a little bit of a, a disclaimer that we have on these. All the players you're going to see here will have unwavering form. Um, they'll have really good baseline stats and they'll have good player skills that link up very well with their actual play style. So their playing style, as you can see here, this guy has got a prolific winger. He's got 80 acceleration and 82 speed. So he is our first name up. Now, for the rest of them, we are going to be going over to eFootball DB and we're going to be showing you a new look at the website that the lads have been working on. So here we go. So we've got a new base uh, kind of design. It's a lot cleaner, obviously. It brings it more in line with the stats and how they're displayed in game in eFootball 2023. Um, there is a lot more to come to this design. So if you guys have any feedback, get it below in the comments and uh, we will be doing a kind of a walkthrough of this website quite soon as well because there's a lot of people uh, using it obviously and it is getting more and more popular. So the lads do want to have it as best as they possibly can have it. And the reason why I think this is like a really nice website to use is because everything is just laid out for you and it's very fast and stuff like that. But obviously the boys will be working on it to make it even more attractive looking. It's very bare bones at the moment as they work on other features. But anyway, this is what this guy maxes out at lads. You've got incredible stats, 95 speed, 94 acceleration, 84 balance, and then his dribbling and offensive awareness, his attack ability here is very high as well. As I said, 78 progression points. We've maxed that out. So we've given him 10 dribbling, 14 dexterity, and 13 lower body strength. And then obviously you're going to be getting him for 5,900 GP, which is, you know, barely anything really. Next up, we have another winger on the left, and he's a very similar player as well. He's 7,000 GP. This guy, Rodriguez, has come into uh, my kind of radar by playing with the Club America team's in the Liga BBVA challenges over the last couple of weeks. He's insane, lads. He's really, really good player. As I said, he's got double touch. He's got scissors faint. Then player skills need to be updated a little bit as well. But he does have nice play, play style. He is a prolific winger. You are going to have that unwavering form as well as all these players on the list have. And then you're looking at his individual stats. 90 acceleration, 86 speed, 83 balance, 86 dribbling and ball control with 80 tight possession. Extremely good as well. 88 progression points. So you can train this guy up. I would stay away from upgrading his passing. You don't really need that. A lot of people kind of comment on that, that they say, you know, some of the players that I kind of produce or that I um, promote and stuff that I actually endorse 
and the players that I suggest don't have great passing skills. But I think you've got a very specific uh, role that you need to have with your wingers, which is, you know, dribbling and speed. That's all you need from your wingers. You know, if 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 you're not able to play dribble uh, centric football, like if you don't like playing out wide and beating a man, touch and go and beating a man for pace. And when you get the ball, beating a man with trickery and pace, then I would definitely recommend you have a different play style. I'm going to be doing a video on that quite soon, which will answer a lot of questions on that. Next up, we have Celtics James Forrest. This guy, the reason why he's in here, right, we've had three wingers in a row, but the reason why this guy just shades in at 5,900 GP again is because of his form, right? He's got unwavering form, but he's also going to be on a, you know, very high form a lot of the time because Celtic win a lot of matches. And it's, you're just kind of like, you know, you're kind of like, um, what's the, what's the phrase word? What's the phrase that I'm trying to think of? You're kind of like hedging your bets that this guy is going to be more, uh, up and down a lot of the time you can see there that he's got a form and he's also going to be up on the a form or b form because celtic as i said do win a lot of games i know i'm repeating myself but again really good uh, stats across the board we've kind of focused on a bit of uh, passing with this if you do want to have that option that this guy is more kind of as a right midfielder rather than like a, a kind of a winger you are going to be trying to get balls into the box with this guy next up we've got a center back medina this guy was actually on one of my lists before incredible player he does have the destroyer play style he's a left-footed 12,000 gp player a goes to an 86 overall but look at the defensive stats you're getting there lads right you're getting 87 defensive awareness but you're getting 90 tackling 92 aggression and 90 engagement incredible again and on top of that you're going to have 74 acceleration he's a smaller base center back than a lot of the big giants but he will be able to play the ball on the ground even though he doesn't have amazing uh dribbling or tight possession or anything like that but definitely one to watch because he does have blocker interception and sliding tackle as well as fighting spirit and he can play left back but genuinely lads if you've got 12,000 gp and you're looking for a squad based player this guy you can do you know a lot worse than him he's he's insane for that money next up we have got romo this guy has been again he has come into my radar from playing with the liga bbva teams and i've come up against him a couple of times he's a box to box but he is a dmf he's a pass based uh, player i would say even though you know he does have really good defensive awareness tackling defensive engagement aggression but his stats are just like across the board really 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 good we've put 14 points into passing you can change that if you want to like if you want to make this guy more defensive right you could actually make him a little bit more defensive that way and, and take his passing down a little fraction there and then obviously you know be able to like boost one up into speed or whatever um to change his style a little bit but i definitely would focus on the passing there to have a pass master if you are looking for a cheap option Twenty thousand gp can't go too far wrong with that and again this guy does have unwavering form moving up we have got lang a lot of people were complaining about it the other day when i didn't have uh lang who um is a really good player as well he's kind of like a messy base player they were saying that he is very like messy i think the couple of things that hold him back from being better than say the likes of ritz or the likes of somebody uh like kovacic who's obviously way higher uh priced this guy is twenty thousand gp but i think the thing that holds him back the most when i'm comparing him to messi is his actual dribbling like you know we've his maxed out dribbling here at 10 points now we could change that and bring down the passing a little bit if we want to and boost that up a, like a fraction but you're still not going to be able to get get that perfect mix of passing and dribbling and that's what you need if you're looking for an amf this guy is suited as a winger genuinely he is suited as a winger i would take the passing down a little bit i would probably take the dribbling down a little bit and then i would probably boost up his speed that's where i would go with him 87 overall left winger with a lot of wingers on this obviously you don't need to sign them all but they are good options to have next up we've got another center back not only is bartra one of my favorite players in the game i have him on my other profile on the xbox he is probably one of the most underrated gems in the game full stop i would say he's in my top 10 of underrated gems with any budget like we're forgetting about his price Fifteen thousand gp he's usually in good form because of the league that he plays in as well anytime i check him he's fairly good form he's got unwavering form as well really good player skills and he can play in a multitude of positions you can play him dmf you can play him right back you can play him cmf even plus on top of that he's a nice weight a nice height nice player id his defensive att uh, attributes are really good but he's also able to pass so as i said if you guys are looking to be a possession based player comfortable on the ball this is a center back that you could want rather than the guy that we had back here which is medina you could trade him off next up we have got quintero i've already featured quintero lads in one of my videos he is a hidden gem 
amazing, amazing player. Like you just look at the stats, you can train him up in a multitude of ways. I focused on his passing, but again, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. He's got really nice ability all over the pitch. And he is a super sub as well, which gives you a little bit of a boost off the bench after the 60th minute or into the second half of games. A left-footed player as well, very similar to Messi in how he plays and dictates the game. Last but not least, we've got these two boys. So we've got Grilich from Austria, and he plays with Ajax as well. He is featured in the thumbnail, of course. Ajax fans will recognize the Austrian here. Anchorman playing style, monster, 22,000 GP. We have focused here on his passing with 68 progression points at 35 levels. We've given him 11 passing. We've given one dribbling, seven dexterity, seven body strength, and then aerial strength six and defending 10. Now, again, if we want to focus on just one aspect of it, we could pump in another two into defending there, or we could also pump in a couple to dexterity to make him a little bit quicker to get that up to nearly 70-70. But again, a very good player. If you are looking at that, he's got a wavering form. And on top of that as well, he's got interception way to pass Marseille turn. A lot of on the ball stuff that he's able to do with that ball control, which is key. And then we have rounding us off a goalkeeper. I know people would be complaining if I don't give him a goalkeeper option for under 25,000. 22,000 GP. I mean, it, it is what it is, lads. You're getting a goalkeeper that will probably take you to early to mid game. If you're learning the mechanics of the game, you don't want to put money in and buy the superstar goalies. You haven't packed a legend or you're just picking the game up. You know, you need a goalie. I say, and I always uh, say this and repeat this, right? You need a goalkeeper that has plus 90 reflexes. The other stats don't really matter. It doesn't matter if you have got 99 awareness, catching and clearing or reach. It doesn't matter because you will still spill the ball. You will still, I've done a lot of testing on it. The reflexes one will literally save you point blank saves. You'll save them. Like there's a lot, lot of chances in it that you get that are literally tap-ins or one-on-ones um, or corners, you know. So you are going to concede goals. Even if you've got Oliver Kahn and Petr Cech in goals standing beside each other, you're still going to concede goals because the game is favoured in an attacking based way. But you do need to be able to have somebody that is able to, you know, like be able to play and not let you down more often than not. Donnarumma is still my number one goalkeeper choice. I will have nobody say any differently. I think obviously Oliver Kahn and Cassius are amazing. Deed is amazing. Um, but this guy is very good for the price. So that is it, lads, for my top 10 players of the week. Or my top 10 players for 25,000 GP, I should say, for this week. Um, and yeah, that is it for me. Make sure and check out eFootballDB. I will leave a link in the description below. And let me know any feedback to pass on to the team. And we will uh, get on it and I will get that feedback on to them. Until next time, lads, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any more suggestions. I will talk to you later. Peace.